What's going on guys, it's Storm here, and uh, today I've got a little bit of open lobby gameplay for you guys, but before I start out with this commentary, I want to mention that last gameplay I forgot to credit my friend uh, Drowsy, and he supplied that last gameplay and it was a really good gun game on Nuketown, so if you haven't seen that last video, check it out, I'll probably put a link in the description or something. But let's get right into this commentary because I've got something really cool to talk about today. So for those of you who haven't seen, there was a Black Ops 2 unboxing video that uh, came out the other day. And everybody was so busy talking about how what's going to be in the Hardened Edition, what's going to be in the Prestige Edition, that nobody really that I've seen caught some of the smaller details in the video. And in that video, they kind of released some information dealing with um, how player cards are going to work in Black Ops 2. So I'm just going to go ahead and read out the quote from David Vonderhaar in this video. So what he stated was, the emblem editor is making a return, it's coming back in a very big way with lots of new features. You can use these, and he's talking about here is, um, he's talking about the two player card bonuses I guess that you get with, um, the Hardened or Prestige Edition. You can use these as part of that identity on your player card, and they're inspired by Nuketown 2025 and Call of Duty Zombies. So. It appears that the images that we saw in the gameplay of um, the Black Ops premiere were actually indeed emblems created by players. And the backgrounds that we saw will be able to be earned or unlocked at some certain point in the game by doing challenges or completing other things in the game. The thing is though, the system can't possibly just be that simple. If they're talking about adding in brand new features, um, it can't just be the background and the emblem creator. There's got to be something else that we're not seeing yet that's probably going to make a major effect on the game. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I feel about the uh, create your own player card system coming back. I think it's a really great idea if it's done right, and I hope that they really expand off the Black Ops system because we don't just want another year of kind of the same emblems going around. But I really hope they're smart with it this time and don't include stuff like a pickle and cherries so that we don't have to look at weird pictures for the next year and a half of playing this game or so. But as far as we saw during the actual Black Ops gameplay, the emblems that were pictured there looked actually really professional, and uh, they were really well streamlined. But of course, they don't want to put bad-looking pictures in the uh, in the gameplay of the game. They want to make it all look really professional and that kind of stuff, so they probably had experts make those emblems. But the biggest thing that we'll have to wait and see is these new features that Dave Vonderhaar says are coming to the Black Ops 2 emblems. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave it some support. Help spread it around a little bit, let people know what's going on with these player card emblems. I'd really appreciate that. And also, uh, please leave your opinions on what you think of the old player card system coming back with new features and uh, possibly being buffed up a little bit. I know some people really like this old system, and some people really didn't enjoy it and wanted to go back to an MW2 or an MW3 type system. So, I don't really know, guys. Let me know what you think, and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.